What's up YouTube, back again with another new video. So we're already a little more than halfway through the year, so that means it's time for all the trend related videos to come out, kind of similar to what I did last year. So this one will be my favorite streetwear trends of 2017 thus far. And if anything kind of, anything that piques my interest pops up kind of later on in the year, then I will do a video on all that stuff as well, probably in like the fall or winter. So let's just get started with the first one being the shoulder bags, the fanny packs, like all those. Now it's something that I personally did not take part in, uh, mainly because I've never really found one that I've liked that I would actually be willing to go and buy. But then again, I haven't really searched all that hard, but a lot of the ones that I've seen kind of other people wear, uh, I thought looked pretty good and it's something that's actually useful, especially in the summertime when you're out and about. So maybe you don't want to carry a backpack all the time because as you know, if you have a big ass backpack on, you're going to get that sweat stain on the back of your light colored t-shirt, which could be a total vibe killer. But personally, I really like the trend. Have I taken part in it? No, but there are a lot of kind of like if you search online or maybe even just go to a thrift, you can definitely find some pretty decent options. Uh, some things, some of the uh, shoulder bags I have seen though, are kind of pricey, but it's definitely dependent on the brand that you choose. But like I said, you could go to a thrift, find a little, little side bag or something for probably a relatively cheap price. And who knows, you might find some like really crazy vintage stuff that you might end up fucking with. So yeah, we're gonna have that as the first trend. And if any of you have any recommendations for any of those bags, uh, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Doesn't mean I'm gonna go out and buy it, no, but I'd like to kind of see what you guys are feeling and then that way maybe I'm like, oh, you know, I fuck with this too. Maybe I'll buy it, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just stay wearing backpacks like I'm in high school. But yeah, I don't know. I still fuck with it though. Next, moving on to a trend a lot of people are sick of and I still like it, but I do understand that it's getting a bit overexposed and it is the Cobain shades or the SoundCloud wrapper shades, a lot of people like to call them, or the clout goggles. Now, there are a lot of expensive, higher-end brands that make glasses in this kind of style, and there's a lot of cheaper alternatives. I will leave links to cheaper alternatives. And if you're balling and you can afford the other stuff, I'll leave links in the description below to all the luxury brands as well. But a lot of people are sick of them, but I personally, like, fuck the fact that it's trendy. I really like the way they look, at least some of them, because I feel like some of them get the shape kind of wrong and they make them look too thin. Like they make the uh, the glasses part right here, they make them look way too thin or sometimes like even the uh, the whole like, I don't know, sometimes the, the whole frame's just off, but the ones I got from Urban I thought looked pretty good. I believe they were under $20 and I believe the white and the black colorway are available right now. And then they make a, a women's version as well, but honestly, they're just, just unisex, they're, they're sunglasses. But, and the male ones look better because they are thicker framed. The women's ones, they kind of like shrink the stem or whatever these are called. So just something to keep in mind if you're gonna buy off there. But overall, I really like the aesthetic. Do I think it's getting a little overdone? Absolutely. And that's mainly in the white colorway. Uh, I like the black colorway. I've seen some in orange, some in blue, some in red. So there's definitely a wide array of color palette to choose from. So, but there is one thing that I actually have not seen. And maybe if you guys have seen it, feel free to let me know. Has anybody made a transparent um, Cobain shade? If not, somebody needs to jump on that. I'm not jumping on it, but somebody needs to make that shit because I think that thing will be hard as fuck. Also, why has nobody made like a mirror chrome, like a chrome Cobain shade? I think that shit would look cool too. Maybe it would look a little too flashy, but I don't know. I think people will buy it. So let me know if either of those things exist. But yeah, Cobain shades at number two. And lastly, this is actually a pretty short list because I have four more videos to film right after this. And it is the vintage sportswear revival. I'm actually a pretty big fan of, of a lot of the brands that have come back. Although like the whole Fila and Kappa shit, it looks fine to me. Like I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but would I personally wear the Kappa stuff? No, uh, once again, I know a lot of people probably feel similar like with the Cobain shades. It's a bit overexposed to me. I still like the Cobain shades, I'm gonna still wear them. But with the Kappa track pants, uh, I don't know. The logo is cool, but I think I would like it better if it was another brand. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I actually would mess with some of the uh, the Umbro stuff that I have seen. Overall, I like a lot of the, the pieces that a lot of these kind of sportswear brands are making. I think that 
a lot of these brands should look back at their 80s and 90s soccer jerseys with the collars because those are really hard. And you could obviously buy vintage ones, but a lot of the vintage jerseys on eBay are, well, like 100, 200, 300 dollars. That's a little bit much, at least in my opinion. But hopefully a lot of brands look back into their archives and start making like 80s retro jerseys with a nice like collar. Cause a lot of modern jerseys don't even have a collar, but I like the way a lot of the older stuff looks. So yeah, Vintage Sportswear Revival at number three. And that's actually gonna wrap up this list. Like I said, it's gonna be relatively short. So if this video came out being favorite, you already know the video that everybody asks me for all the time, the least favorite one, uh, least favorite streetwear trends 2017 will come out probably right after this. And I will be doing one for women's trends as well. So make sure to stay tuned for that. If you're not following me on Twitter, follow your boy on Twitter because that's pretty much where a lot of video ideas spawn out of. Also, check me out on Instagram. I will put links to everything at the end like I always do. Thank you so much for watching. We're almost at 60K, so thank you for that as well. And peace out, YouTube.